Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the day four recap of the July painting challenge. We're looking at my super messy desk right now because projects fly fast and furious on this thing. But anyways, uh, a little recap of uh, what happened during day four, July 4th. Happy birthday, America. Um, I worked on a couple of night miniatures, so we took a break from Mythic Battles Pantheon to paint some of these guys. This is Bronze Tiger, and you can see they're not sealed yet, so... They're, uh, they're still looking a little bit flat, um, but you can see, did some, like, actual bronze effect on him to make him look cool. And then we got, uh, Talia Al Ghul, and you see I did a really shimmery outfit here that's super fun. Um, I really love this sculpt. She's just so cool, and I can't wait to get her on the table. And then I was also... And you can see some of the color shift paint there, which is awesome, right? Love the color shift paint. And then, uh, and then I worked on uh, this miniature from Fantasy World Games. This is a, a guild ball, kind of a beach model. And you can see she's holding the guild ball there, uh, you know, in her bikini. And we did some work on skin. So, um, geez, I'm having a hard time staying focused here. But anyways, um... We worked on that, and then we worked on some miscellaneous stuff as well. I'm not sure why my focus is so bad. There we go. Um, we worked on some miscellaneous stuff as well, um, which I'm not going to break out in front of the camera right now. All right, so on to the question of the day, and I'm just going to answer it live here. What is your favorite miniature that you painted in the, in the past year? Um, and show it off, right? I'm not sure. I don't really have a favorite miniature from the past year. Um, but there's some miniatures, like I'll show this miniature here just because I do really quite like this miniature. And I'm pretty sure this was the past year. I don't remember, to be honest. But this is the Mechanical Rider from Malifaux. And you can see, um, I just really like the, all the different angles and things that you get to play with, like, right? Like you get to play with hair, but you also get to play with kind of like fiery hair. You get to play with, um... The cool mechanical lady, the writer, which is just a great sculpt by herself. Um, you get this really fun spear or harpoon that she's got. And then if you look at the body of the robot, right? There's so many fun things you could do with this robot. You could either, you know, you could do what I did and give it kind of this. This is like more of like a non-metallic, um, uh, like a non-metallic gold look to it or you could do uh you know you could do a actual metallic this would be a great model to do color shift paints on as well but i just love the composition of this model super fun to paint um sadly she doesn't make a lot of my malifaux crews but she's just great she's just great to look at um and is a really good centerpiece uh for a, a malifaux crew um, I love her color palettes. I love the, you know, the warmth of the gold and contrasted by the blue. Um, and, you know, I usually don't like composite models of, like, riders and and mounts as favorite miniatures. But there are some exceptions, I would say. This model being one exception. And then also the limited edition um, uh, Penetacelia from um, uh, Infinity is also just a fantastic model so anyways yeah i i really like the uh, mechanical rider she's super fun um tonight i'm not sure if i'm gonna be doing a whole lot of painting but we're still gonna be working on odds and ends um yeah i i don't know maybe this is my favorite model that i painted in the past well just because i i adore this sculpt i just think it's so great anyways that's gonna do it for this video i want to thank everyone for watching we will catch you on the next one